just wanted to kind of go over my project for Terrell's class. Uh, this year I thought it would be interesting to take a look at pollinators. I've always had an interest in them, always thought uh, keeping bees would be really, really interesting. And I happened to be taking my class to a ranch recently and the ranch owner uh, and I began talking about bees and, and uh, beekeeping and uh, I don't know why I hadn't always I hadn't jumped in before, but yeah, you know his his encouragement was uh, it's the sort of thing that you just have to jump into. Um, you may not know how it all works, but uh, you're only going to learn as you go. So uh, that was that was kind of what I needed, and um, and so I decided back in in uh, in early winter that this was something that I wanted to do. So what I did was ordered a package of bees. Uh, uh, I think it's a three pound package of bees. Mm -hmm. And um, those arrived actually on the 22nd. So that would have been yesterday as I was traveling home from, from Arizona. And uh, it comes complete with a queen. And, uh, and then I also ordered a hive. And so uh, it was a great project for my family. Um, and, um, and so we, we, we put this hive together and we kind of show you. This is called, this is my sign. This is my son Henry, um, and so Henry, why don't you move over here, and uh, and this is uh, called a top bar hive, and a top bar hive. There's a couple different types of hives, but to, uh, there's Langstroth hives and top bar hives, and the top bar hive is probably regarded as a little bit friendlier for the bees. Um, you don't use smoke, uh, which would kind of pose a threat to them, and um, and it's just uh, constructed in a, a little bit different way for for the bees to be able to um, naturally form their cone. Okay, so uh, basically you have these bars, and uh, it's it's constructed so that the comb and the honey is built on down um, off of the top bars. Okay, so there's a bunch of those there. They'll they'll fill this all up with comb and uh, brood and honey and um, that's that's how that's gonna gonna play out over the next few months uh, and just so that you can see here's my here's my package of bees um, and so there are probably about six thousand bees in there uh, three pounds and so later on today I don't know if I'm gonna get much video of it but later on today I'm gonna be opening this up in my my bee suit and uh, introducing the bees to the hive. Uh, really interesting that uh, you do get a queen and the queen is right here right now and she's in her own little cage and uh, the bees would actually attack the queen because they don't know her uh, until they've built kind of a relationship with her which is fascinating I think. Um, so they are getting to know her and there's a little piece of candy inside uh, that keeps the the queen, candy or marshmallow, that keeps the queen uh, kind of in the uh, in her little container. And as the 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 six thousand bees get to know the queen, they eat through the candy. And once they meet, uh, they basically kiss, if you will. And um, and at that point, they become so acquainted through just the smell, the pheromones that she's giving off that they accept her as their queen. And so uh, that's just absolutely fascinating, I think. So what I'll do is I'll introduce the queen in her little cage and allow uh, nature to take its course over the next day or so and uh, allow them to accept her as their queen. So, so this has just been an awesome project for my family. My kids are loving it. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So today is the day where we will be introducing our, our bees and, uh, to, the, uh, to the hive and uh, welcoming 6,000 new pets to our family. Oh so, my <laughs> so Liam and Henry, this is Liam, and this is Henry. You guys say hi. Hi. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll share a little bit more in a little bit, okay? All right. Hey, hello again. Um, this is my daughter, Rosie. Say hi, Rosie. Hey. Hey, yeah. Um, so Rosie and I are out setting up our hive today. Um, Rosie's being a big help. We're working on getting things set up, leveled, 
Uh, the bees are not around right now, so um, good opportunity for Rosie to kind of get a get a picture of the hive. So um, and learn a little bit. Rosie, do we go near a beehive? No. No, that's right. Um, so anyway, we really want to be intentional about kind of just teaching our our kids some respect for for the the bees and the pollinators and um, you know seeing them as allies and partners in the environment and um, and so again Rosie and I are working on the hive today and um, and so you see the hive just behind me again top bar hive um, and it's uh, the um, the bees uh, fill up the the hive from the top down um, and they fill up those little bars that I showed you earlier um, bees actually go in on the side right here there's a little hole right down here and uh, so that's where the bees fill up the or enter the hive um, as I mentioned earlier, these little, these are the top bars and these come off and that's what will be filled with a couple, couple weeks that will be filled with comb, okay? Um, and so we take these out and so uh, there's about seven there before we get to what we call a false back, okay? And the reason why we have a false back there is because uh, if we gave the bees the entire hive all at once, they might feel like it was too spacious and fly off. So um, they won't, they prefer a, a confined or a semi-small area until they start to fill it up. Um, and then so in a week or, or two, we'll remove this and uh, and they allow them to just continue to, to fill up the, the hive um, progressively. So um, I, think that's, I think that's what we want to share right now. It's really important we were out here working on getting it level earlier and um, it's really important to make sure that it is level so that they fill the combs um, evenly and uh, so little subtleties like that um, good to know um, it is a absolutely beautiful day in in the Rockies nice cool morning so it should be a good morning to introduce the bees to the hive uh, we're seeing lots of early wildflowers start to pop up just early in the season so you can see it is just a, a gorgeous bluebird day out here in the Rockies and I'm sure that the bees are going to really enjoy this and, um, and, and find all that they would need out here. So we're excited and, um, and I think the bees will be excited too. So we'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, uh, we, it, is, it is go time and uh, I'm going to walk the bees up to the end, other end of the property and we're going to put them in. Um, got my bee suit on. A lot of people choose to do this without a suit. Um, I'm not at that point yet where I want to play that game, but um, thought I would introduce Charlie. Charlie, can you say hi? You can say hi. Charlie's also excited, and um, and so uh, yeah, we just thought uh, we would show you the next step. I'm not going to be able to show you the actual introduction of the bees to the hive, but. Um, because that would be just a little bit too much for me to manage with a, a, a camera. Um, so, so we'll talk a little bit more after the bees are in the hive. Okay, I uh, just introduced the bees to the hive and uh, all is well. Um, you can hopefully see them flying around there. The white box is the container they came in. Um, the queen is there in the middle of the hive. It's, she's uh, pretty identifiable. She's she's got a much longer abdomen than uh, than the rest of the bees. Um, they're kind of getting familiar with the hive. You can kind of see um, there they are around the hole that I pointed out earlier. And the little metal can there is some sugar water that came with the bees um, to make sure that they were able to survive the night. Um, but looks good. Looks like everyone's doing well. I'm doing well. That was much easier than I even expected. Um, so knock on wood, but not a, not a, not a single sting. So um, the 6,000 bees are in and uh, all is well. I'm going to let them kind of just get settled in there and uh, we'll be checking on them tomorrow to make sure that they were kind of able to release the queen make sure that uh, that the combs that they start to set up are are being set up uh, in in, uh, in line and uh, just make sure that uh, they're 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 getting acclimated to the area so um, again 
there they are. You kind of get a good look. Um, and that is, that's that. There's their new home.